When you talk about the machines, I just want to clarify, you mean electronic voting machines and those because people write to me and they say, I'm worried Mike Pillow is going to come after my espresso machine, my lathe, my all these other types. Oh, I'm, sure, I'm sure they do, David. Now you're just being sarcastic and the little left wing humor. There, I'm not. Ha, I'm ha, not. Ha, ha. Ha ha ha. That can be your headline. Mike Lindell wants to get rid of the machine. I will tell you this. Yeah. We're in an apex in history okay. where the technology we have out there, like in in, in um, um, Australia, where they use drones to come down and tell you to go back in your house. Okay. This stuff was going on there where we have in robots and everything and everything run by computers. If you look at the everything that can be hacked, you got, you know, credit cards, companies get hacked, businesses get hacked. Yes. Um, uh, gas line or gas. We had gas companies get hacked. All these things that hacked when they get hacked, you have it all involves money or insurance. So you have, you know, the good geeks and they patch it up. Who did this attack? Who did this cyber attack? Who broke into my computer? And they fix it and they put up better protection, virus protection. But when it happens in an election, you can lose your country. Fair. That's all I'm about. All I right. Just, no, no I just wanted to at. clarify that. That's all. Fine. That if you if you're gonna take an election, which China was involved in this, I'll say it straight out. You just seen where the guy, the um, Kolchak or whatever it was, uh, Kolchak I believe in Michigan just got indicted, arrested, and uh, for China be involved in the 2020 election. That went out. That actually went out in the news just a week ago. Okay. I'm I'm telling you that with with computers. We just did the preliminary injunction down in Arizona. That judge said, why, why, um, their hand counting is vulnerable too. And here's what my attorney said. He said, you know what, when you have a computer, you can, you can change one number. You can do anything you hack in and you can do, it can affect millions where if you had to do the same thing with paper, um, you would have to have a whole cabal of people. You would have to have uh, thousands and thousands of people okay. in on it instead Mike. of having, you know, to be protected. Our elections need to be protected. They do. They All do. of our elections, right down to the school boards. You can't have people breaking in and hacking into computers. That's Is that true. such a thing? And David, doesn't it doesn't it bother you that these guys have never said, hey, we have nothing to hide. Show us what's inside these computers. Instead, they attack Tina Peters, who that image is up on my platform, Frank's speech. The image is there. It shows 100 percent that Dominion and the Secretary of State, Jenna Griswold, committed felonies and deleted the 2020 election. Mike, they it's really it. hard to do these interviews because we have so many different things that you kind of jump around. Well, for you the asked me the dumb question about getting rid of machines. If you want to be a humorous interview, um, you know, get rid of my espresso machine. Give me a break. <laughs> espresso, David. please, Mike. Yeah, please. Whatever. I okay. mean, you know, give me for a, a coffee guy. You're doing coffee. Now. Me, I'm sure you have all kinds of people. That's the headline. Mike wants to get rid of the machine. I guarantee I you that's not going to that's not yes, going to be the headline. voting machines, Mike. The, the computers used in our voter rolls. Fair. That are, Falsely inflated. All I appreciate of you clarifying. Books, electronic polling books, anything with our election. 